what... Trying to change the story now as they're going for a big dive in the bottom side. TP immediately comes in as a big knockup now on top of both of them in the bottom side. Irobe will be going down the flash forward by Teddy. Maybe a little bit too rambunctious there. Arzan, we'll take a look at this one more time. So, Arzan and Yukal coming down here into bot lane, but they obviously do not respect the teleport out of the Akali. And they just get a kill completely for free onto Iro. Teddy does end up flashing. Baker comes in with the Shuriken, not perhaps if he wins and also earns himself a player of the game performance. Maybe the Korean casters can ask him about the lethal tempo. As Kana getting the flash out of the Malkai. Dragon is a bit lackluster. Uh, as the game does go on, it will oh, go worse. There we go. Look at that engage out of this guy. He still has his flash as well. The double knockup comes in from LM as well. And now they're all on the run. The Cataclysm going to come in. So many flashes already burned. As now here comes Faker. Lethal Tempo going to drop. He's got those autos going. Literally just actually even do the Scuttle Crab. As you can see, finishes the drop on the right-hand side. Gameplay Ultimate came out. Effort was a really good engage. Teddy did have to flash back over the wall. Viper obviously not keen to follow. Cataclysm came out, locking up Iro, who does not have his flash available from before. Baker going forward with Effort, and it was just a really nice combo in it. Overall, and I don't even know. Sorry, he does not seem to. Well, there's going to be the Cannon Barrage, as well as the Fates Call Exhaust, my good friend. Oh. Repel does go off in mid lane. And he's gonna get a second charge on the mid tier two turret as they make their way over favorable. What what flavor do you think of mountains? It could be. What about Sher is it sherbet? Sherbet? Uh, yeah, I suppose it could be like raspberry sherbet. Yeah. Tara's gonna die here. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone on his team is looking to help him. As Elam, Ellen. And this is honestly looking like a perfect game about this. <laughs> They're going to kill him again. It's been a while since we've had him. What happened to no bully? I thought... I thought... Is he... No, he's not. Yeah, well... They're bullying him pretty hard. And now Kana in a little bit of trouble. He's going to get exhausted. Flashes over the wall. There's a little bit of a game of chicken there. Tarzan really not able to do much, honestly. Still has his kick flash available, and he is going to go for it now, trying to line up the damage. Does he have it? Yes, he does. Effort in a awkward spot. His team isn't backing him up. Finally, they're going to come on in here. He's taking a lot of damage, but he is the Alistair. He's actually going to get away with basically no help. There is the Emperor's Divide. He's certainly going to try to help uh, defend against this onslaught from the side of T1, but it's not going to do too much. Manner that would allow him to maybe try to get starting up. There are so many Ren stacks in that Baron right now. I really wish we could see how many. Oh. They're going to actually just turn. Yeah, they're just going for the play here. Steal this away. Again, stacks. all of those Ren stacks in the Baron right now. I think they're going to turn off it again. Yeah, they're just going for it. Big Cataclysm into the back line. Oh. And huge damage on the follow-up coming out. 
from Teddy and Faker, able to just wipe the floor with them. Thought it would be the Emperor's Divide that did it, but actually the real sweeper was just the damage coming out of T1. Doing the Baron and doing the same fork play. It's a very open inhibitor going to come on down here. Baron up minions as, yeah, Everett's going to be hit by the Chain of Corruption. That's not going to do too much. Viper getting hit by the barrel is going to do a lot more. He's going to have to back out of this fight. Everett looking for the engage, and they're just going to go for it as Gangplank going to open it up, gets the two kills. Ucal just trying to get him into the pit, and he is actually going to be able to. Faker, though, with a double kill on the fountain. Will be going down in the end, but it does not matter. Teddy looking for that one last kill. Not quite going to grab it here, but T1 absolutely going to grab this series in the 2-1 victory over Griffin as hitting that Nexus with no way for Antara. We know these players, they're going to pick up the kill, and now they will take down the Nexus. So that is going to be the final endgame score, 4-20.